Okay. Well, I just don't understand what he's saying. Are you are you trying to say is one of the things you're saying that someone is wrong to be a utilitarian? Um to be utilitarian to 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 consider the primary principle, let's say, of social contract utilitarianism, I would consider it to be utilitarian. No, I, that wasn't what I asked. I asked, are you claiming that someone is wrong to be a utilitarian? So, okay, so there are two levels, right? There is the personal Wait, preference. It's, it's, one, one second, it, it's, it should be straightforward. I'm, ju I'm just asking you, if someone is a utilitarian, do you think that they're wrong? As in, do they necessarily have a false belief or it, are they somehow contradicting themselves? Okay, no, in that, uh, no. Okay, that was all I wanted to ask. You can, uh, you can talk to him, I'll Mark. But, give me a second. If somebody's a utilitarian... Well, well no, the, the point of interest for me was just, it sounded like you were actually saying that a utilitarian is wrong. No, right? no, 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 a utilitarian... You're not, you're not saying they're wrong. You think it's fine if someone's a utilitarian, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, okay. The social contract cannot be based on utilitarian premises. So, in other words, you can what be utilitarian... What do you mean a social contract? Okay. Okay. So, um, there are there are two ways you can function, right? It's the state of nature where everything is permissible, and the social contract that is a principle that guides right and wrong in a in a in a human society. I don't see how you answered my question. Yeah. So you can accept let's say, a certain principle that would logically conclude into, into rights and wrongs, wrongs that are objectively correct for everyone who follows the premise of your principle, but for everything that is subjective or in your everyday life when making decisions, you can be a utilitarian. I don't understand the claim. Okay. Like so, you're, so let's just be clear. We both agree that if someone's a utilitarian, that doesn't mean that they have any false beliefs or that they're contradicting themselves. We agree about that, right? Yeah. Okay. So your claim is what about utilitarianism? So my claim is that utilitarianism on its own as a principle, if it's the only principle somebody holds, and if it's the principle that they consider society to function, that they want society to function on, is, yeah, uh, I'm, taking, I'm taking all of that to mean if someone is a utilitarian. No, no, no. So, okay, so let me, let me give you Look, an example. If you, say, right? if you say it's the principle they hold or it's the principle that society operates by, I'm just trying to understand, like, it sounds like you're saying if someone's a utilitarian, then there's some kind of problem. Like, what's the problem supposed to be? So the problem with having a social contract that is based on utilitarian principles is that utilitarianism doesn't have logical conclude doesn't conclude into if you follow utilitarian premises they don't logically conclude into objective right <laughs> wait are, are you saying that your criticism of utilitarianism is that it's not deontology yeah um basically yeah <laughs> okay well if someone if someone's not a deontologist if they're utilitarian why would they possibly be persuaded by that so here's the thing, right? Uh, there is the state of nature where everything is permissible. And then there yeah. is the social contract where, where humans who agree to enter the social contract uh, operate into a different kind of um, environment, let's say. Let's just clarify um, what we mean by social contract. Are, are you just yeah. saying when they are, you know, part of society, like abiding by laws no. and stuff like this? What do you mean? No, no. Just, well, just yeah, like, um, the social yeah, contract so, is... I'll, I'll flat mark, just let him talk. Sorry, what? I just, just uh, actually quick, um, quick. So we asked him that earlier, and he doesn't consider um, apes to have social contracts or ants. Wait, man. He asked me a question. Give me a second. So here's yeah, the thing: okay. the yeah, social what? contract is the principle. The social contract is the so there are laws that you might consider to be right or wrong. Right now, these laws come from a certain principle, or should at least be validated as right by the principle the social contract abides by okay i'm trying to understand what a social contract is though are you just saying that there's some problem if someone is a utilitarian or if we 
organize society in a utilitarian way or is this notion yeah, of a if we organize society yeah. if we organize society in a utilitarian way yeah that's that because that that's easy for me to understand when you start invoking social contract then that's like another concept and we need to know what we mean by that so okay so All right, your so, argument by the way just give me with, seven, your sorry your argument starts with something like if we organize society according to utilitarianism no, my argument, my initial argument starts with the fact that the principle that should guide society should should Sorry, should conclude I have to, I have to, to objective. I, I, wait a sec, I'm confused. This this whole argument, the conclusion of the argument is that we shouldn't be utilitarians because utilitarianism isn't deontological. No. So um, then so then wait, what happened to what happened to that thing then? Because I thought you were giving an argument for that claim you're making that we shouldn't be utilitarians because utilitarian well, give me give me give me 30 seconds to explain to you and i'll just you explain to, step one by. second you, you're kind of you go all over i need to just understand no, no, what's you, you stop one second you, man, please, please wait give me, I need give to, me 30 seconds once, to speak, once, well let me give you some direction so you can say something i understand what you're talking about i'd like you to go actually ahead. tell me what the conclusion is of the argument before before we get into uh, the argument what is the thing you're trying to convince me of? The thing I'm trying to convince you of is that the principle that we organize society around should okay. have objective rights and wrongs. Logically, should logically should. derive into objective rights and wrongs. Let me think about what you're saying. The principle that we organize society around should, should what? Derive... Objective. Should logically, logically, logically conclude into rights and wrongs, objective rights and um, into of, well, of course objective. Objective, by the way, give me a second, right? Sorry, so if I, say I, I need example, to one one second, one just a second. So the principle I take to be the principle that tells us whether things are right or wrong, right? Isn't that the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The principle so, that tells us whether but, something. But then right. all, but then all you're saying is that the principle that tells us whether things are right or wrong should tell us whether things are right or wrong. No, Which, that's like... not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. So okay, so give me a second. So give me thirty seconds from that point on. So that's that's where our problem is. I, I, I consider, I consider that that something can be right, objectively, or something can be right, uh, subjectively. So what for example, that? logic, logic is objective. Logic is objective, right? So a principle, right, that if you logically follow it, concludes into something being right, then for everybody who accepts that premise, for everybody who accepts that principle, they would have to accept that something is right. Okay, because so, logic is so wait, we have to, sorry, if I say something that confuses you, you can butt in. And if you say something that confuses me, I'm going to butt in too. That's, that's how we do it, okay? So... Fair. Why are we using the word objective instead of just talking about what follows logically from the principle? Can we just talk because, about what follows logically? Because that's going to be way more straightforward. Yeah, so my objective point... Objective is going to bring up yeah, yeah. metaphysics. Okay, okay, so here's the problem. Here's, here's my problem. I consider utilitarianism... That I consider that if you follow utilitarianism, utilitarianism as a premise, you can two people who follow utilitarianism as a premise can conclude into something being either right or wrong, and they would both be logically correct. Wait, but I thought you were explaining to me right now the conclusion that you're trying to argue for before we talk about the argument. So... Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. That's not what No, sorry. No, one, second, one. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, you're, you're killing me. I don't understand what you're trying to persuade me of. What is the thing you're trying to argue for? Okay, can I give you an example? No, I'd like I'd like you to no, give no. me a proposition. Just tell me what you're okay, trying so to argue for. My proposition, or I don't know what proposition exactly means, but here's the point, right? I consider certain principles to yeah. not have logical logical conclusions into right or wrong. So in other words, in other words, give me a second. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Give wait, me wait, a second wait, wait, no, no, no. We have to we have to stop right there. Because you said Go. the principle refer it is the principle that tells us whether something is right or wrong, right? So if you say 
that there are principles. No, the principle doesn't tell you whether something is right or wrong. The the logic you apply, you follow. I thought we're, sorry, so one second. I thought we're talking about a principle that we want to organize society by. And I thought you said this is supposed to be a principle that tells us what is right and what is wrong. Is that not what the principle is supposed to be? A principle? No, I never said that. I said a principle should be something that logically following it Sorry, is this just right? a principle for... Uh, you have to... Let me ask some things. Is this just... A premise. Is this a principle... Uh, wait. Is this a principle for just how to organize society? Yes. Okay. Is it a principle... So it's a premise. Right? Okay. It's a premise. So give me an example. So please let me give you... Let me give you, an, let me give you okay. two different examples. Yeah. By the way, do you mind if I record this? I'm recording this. Focus yeah, on. go for it. Thank you. So here's the problem, right? You have two different, say you have premise A, that we should maximize utility, right? Okay. And, and sorry, not premise A, principle A, you should maximize utility. You have mm -hmm. a principle, principle B, you should um, um, never engage into, you should never violate other people's um, um, autonomy. Yeah, you have now, utilitarianism if, on one, and then you have deontology. I follow you so yeah, far. Exactly. So, if I was to ask you, should we tax the rich? Logically, logically, utilitarianism can conclude into both yes and no, and both arguments would be logically sound. Both both conclusions would be logically sound. Um. <clears throat> Well, if for some reason taxation and not taxation both maximized utility equally, then you could have two solutions to a problem. Utilitarianism no. doesn't stop you from having multiple options sometimes. So are you but saying, the opinion, wait, problem here. one second, I'm trying to, remember, this is all me just trying to understand what, <laughs> what your claim is. We're not even into a go stage ahead, of arguing. Ahead, I'm just ahead. trying to understand what you're arguing for. Go so ahead. are you saying that um you, there's a problem with utilitarianism and the problem is that there's situations where we can have multiple answers to a question there are situations where two people who both accept utilitarianism as their principle can end up having different logical conclusions that both um okay maybe wait, wait, i just, can wait, no no maybe just i can let, help. just let let me talk to him please for a second um, so you're saying that there's, right, so the problem with utilitarianism is that there are, it, I, I don't know if I agree with that case, but there are, like, hypothetically can be cases where, um, two solutions are appropriate, so, like, you, you know, there's, there's, like, if one person picks one and one person picks the other, there's not someone who's right or wrong with respect to utilitarianism, they're just both right. Either is not, a good answer. Not, not some cases. What I'm saying is that two people who hold utilitarian principles could, in every case, it's possible that in every case would, com would conclude into, into logically sound disagreement. Wait, whoa. So, well, one second. You're saying that the problem... So this, this is all I'm taking to be a problem with utilitarianism that you're trying to argue for. You're trying to say there's a problem with utilitarianism, right? There's a problem with trying to organize society along utilitarian... Okay, and when you say there's a problem, what what are you saying that the problem is? Okay, so let me let me just understand this. What like I don't I don't get what you're claiming. Are you just are you just saying that if we organize society according to utilitarianism, then there's wait you said every question. Do you think you think that on utilitarianism, for any question there's multiple answers is is that the claim do you understand what the logic is by the way yeah i understand what okay. logic is do you understand what okay. logic is yeah yeah i do so do you, do you actually thing. understand any formal logic i understand what the logic is so here's the okay, thing okay so if i say something like p implies q not q therefore p do you know if that's valid no, or no not? i don't under, i don't understand what what i don't right, get so that don't thing. sit around quizzing me on logic please 
Yeah, yeah. I, that's, 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 it's it's fine if, if someone's about to start unloading on me and I'm like, oh, wow, they, they know a whole bunch. It's like, okay. But if you don't know the first thing about logic, please don't lecture me about logic. So here's the thing. All right. Um, something like if you take utilitarianism as your logical premise, then I can say to you, two people can say the same, can say to you that I believe utilitarianism or I believe that every action should be assessed on the basis of whether it maximizes utility. Taxing the rich maximizes utility. Therefore, we should tax the rich. And somebody else can say that I believe that as a utilitarianism, every action should be assessed on the basis of whether it maximizes utility. Taxing the rich will lead to the rich leaving the money of their bank and therefore minimizing utility. Therefore, the right course of action would be to not tax the rich. <laughs> Wait, but are, are you saying that given that you accept the, uh, the normative premise there, that both of those arguments would be sound? Yeah. So you're a dialetheist. Do you think there's true contradictions? Because you realize it, what, what the second premise there is saying is that the thing maximizes utility, right? So if you say... Yeah, I do. If you say in one case that... <laughs> if, you, if we can have two sound arguments and one of them says X maximizes utility and one says it's not the case that X maximizes utility then we are believing in true contradictions. We've become dialetheists. You think there are, people, just to be clear, you think there are true contradictions? Two people can no, hold no, no, we don't, we don't, we don't need, we don't, we don't need the two people because the, the normative premise, we can, we can say like, yeah, uh, what's your name? Juan doesn't accept, you know, the, the, the normative premise there about how we should do what maximizes utility. Just that second premise, if that can be true in both cases, right? It's like so. The problem, the no, problem. No, no, Juan, Juan, don't, it. don't, please stop. Okay, you said that we have two sound arguments, and one of them has as a premise P, and one of them has as a premise not P. That's going to commit you to dialetheism. That's you saying there are true contradictions. So two people, man. So if we're no, about one sec. Just answer. Just answer no, clearly. No, 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 no. Just answer, cl it's answer it's clearly, I'm, I'm please, Juan. You. Don't make me. I'll have to use priority. Do you think there are true contradictions? No. Okay. So you can't then try to say that there's two conclusions on utilitarianism when your second premise um, is is. When but I never said that. I never said that. Okay, then show me how show me how we get that something is okay. Well, here walk me through it again then, because it sure sounded like you said that. If we're structuring society around the utilitarian principles, yes, then then two people who accept utilitarianism as their primary principle yes. could disagree could disagree could logically conclude into different. Uh, into different right. um, stop result. Like, when you say when you say logically it makes it sound like you're saying this isn't just an epistemic issue this isn't just they have some different kind of assessment of the facts and they're getting different results um as as uh, because of that right this is when when you say lo logically reach opposite conclusions or whatever that makes it sound like there's actually some kind of fact of the matter about that second premise. You're, you're making it sound no. like both. Okay, so is there a fact of the matter about whether utility is maximized? The whole problem with utilitarianism. Answer the question. The is there? Stop. Answer the, the question. Whole, it. Answer the, the question. Problem. Is there a fact of the matter about whether utility is maximized by the tax policy? Let's say. What, what's a fact of the matter? What does the fact of the matter mean, man? What do you mean by fact the, of the matter? Oh, just like the way is—is is there actually? Oh, well, it's kind of—it's a bit. It's almost like primitive-ish, but it's like uh, the way things are, right? Is there—is—is is it true that the policy maximizes utility? We could say it like that too. Exactly. So the problem with utilitarianism is that no, wait, it doesn't. I, I asked you something. Juan, you doesn't. can't just. Juan, hello. You can't just when I ask you something ramble away from the question, right? I'm asking. Listen, man. I'm asking okay, you, you said, something you here. Said, I'm asking you something here. You're not weaseling away from it. Don't even try. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to it. Is there a fact of the matter about whether utility is maximized? That is to say, if someone makes the claim that utility is maximized by a tax policy, is that either true or false? That's the no, and that's the problem of utilitarianism. 
okay, now how could it possibly be that it's not true or false? It seems it, we agree it's a proposition, right? Utility is maximized by uh, this tax policy. So wait, we agree it's is, a proposition, right? Juan, wait, wait, Juan, Juan it's a question. Juan, hello, the, hello, yeah, hello. To, it's a question. Do we start agree? Start from the beginning. Juan, because you Juan, because you Juan, Juan, you're gonna annoy me. Okay. Do we agree that it's a proposition? No. We don't agree that it's a proposition to say that utility is maxim or this tax policy maximizes utility. The whole problem is that we don't agree. No. Wait one second. How so? What is your definition of a proposition? My definition of a proposition is uh, something that um, my definition of a proposition. I don't know. My definition of pro utilitarianism right. is. A <laughs> well, if you don't even know what a proposition is, then how about I provide a definition, okay? A proposition is a statement capable of having truth value. Do you object to the standard understanding of what a proposition is? No. Go ahead. Okay, right. So do we understand that the that um, this tax policy maximizes utility is a proposition? It's a statement, and it's capable of having truth value. Yeah, we do. Okay, okay, great. So that proposition, if there's a truth value to it, right? Uh, let's just let's just be simple. We'll just say that we've got a bivalent logic. You think that a proposition is either true or false, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So um, now, if if that's the case, then you can't have two sound arguments that say that that proposition in one case is true and in the other case is false, unless you're a dialetheist. So let me try and let me. So give me thirty it seconds. It creates a contradiction. Yeah. yeah. But do yeah, you understand? The, I just want you to I do, understand I do. the contradiction. I so do. Can write out give the me thirty arguments. seconds. Give me thirty seconds to explain okay. to you why you're wrong. But please don't don't interrupt <laughs> me within these thirty seconds, man. Okay. So my the main problem the main problem with utilitarianism is that whether the the proposition that this policy maximizes utility or not, right, is subjective. This is the main problem with utilitarianism. So what in other mean, words... Wait, you, you already you, lost me. What, what do you, no, you, ha, you can't continue when you say words I don't know the meaning of. You can't continue like that. When you say subjective, how do you mean that? Do you so mean that whether, it's not whether a policy, or false? No, it mean, it, I mean that there is no logical conclusion to whether something maximizes, maximizes utility or not. We can never logically conclude to whether something <laughs> maximizes utility or not. <laughs> you just said that the prop, wait, oh, is this, is this now just an epistemic thing about whether we can figure out if it maximizes utility? Or are you saying yes. that the, okay, so you agree that it's either true or false that it maximizes utility though, right? Yeah, but it's irrelevant. Right, okay, so wait, so, so we agree that it's either true or false that the policy maximizes utility, um, but you're saying that people yeah. might, yeah, right, but you're just saying that people might have a hard time figuring out if the policy maximizes utility. No, what I'm saying is that th there is no logical or objective way for people to understand whether it maximizes utility. What I don't I don't understand what you're saying. We have to go back to what you were saying before. This is this yeah, is all. Yeah. So if you what, if you wait, let me explain to Juan, you, Juan, Juan, wait. stop, stop trying to let talk. Me explain to you. Juan, stop trying to talk me at me. Okay. To you. Uh, Juan, look, I'm about to ban you. Okay, shut the fuck up. Let me understand Man, what you're, you're saying. On YouTube, you know let that, right? me understand what you're saying instead of rambling at me. Okay. So I'm gonna now, Juan, Juan, I'm going to give you one more chance. If I hear you cut me off one more fucking time, I'm booting you. Okay. Now shut the fuck up. You're now going to let's YouTube. try. Okay. Oh, great. You're gone. Bye, Juan.